Hey guys, uh, we're coming at you with a video today. We are gonna be building crappie structures. We've got some PVC over here. We've got some tobacco sticks over here. We're gonna be using uh, center blocks to stick them in. And we're gonna make some big ones. We're gonna make some small ones. We're gonna make some out of PVC, some of them out of timber. We're gonna show you how we did it and why we did what we did. So stay tuned, we're getting ready to get to it. Remember, if you have not uh, liked and subscribed to Crappie Monster here on YouTube, please do so. We appreciate it, guys. Let's get at it. See, guys, this is how you do it. You get a really good buddy that wants to go fishing with you all the time, and then... That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys, this is really quick, really simple, nothing major to it whatsoever. We have set the concrete box down on the ground, given enough room to be able to drop the tobacco sticks in there, just like that one. We're taking, uh, Derek is filling these about three quarters of the way up. Fill them three quarters of the way up, that way you got room for your tobacco sticks to go down in there without having concrete spill all out. And we're doing it in the driveway, so if a little bit of concrete uh, spills out. It's in the gravel. It ain't gonna hurt nothing at all. Got a ladybug on here. Yeah, but this is what we're doing. This is what it looks like. That right there is a finished product. The crappie have plenty of room to get inside. And what we're gonna do when we go out and drop it, we're gonna drop them basically the way they're sitting right here in a group of three to make not just one structure. Uh, we've got three that all together make one so they can go from That one to this one to this one and have some space in between and then they got a spot to hide right now So we're gonna make up a bunch of these and then we're gonna get on to the PVC I tell you guys i'm sweating but i like it look at that and realistically what we've been doing this Derek, 15 minutes 15 20 minutes we've got maybe uh what we got four bags total in it so far one two three four five six seven eight we got enough for another uh three to four structures so we got about 12 structures for $20. The uh, box was free. I had them laying out here on the farm. If you gotta buy the concrete box, they ain't but about $1.20 a piece. Very, very economical. And the beauty of it is everybody's gonna get to enjoy these because you're gonna get to see the videos of us fishing them and other people fishing them. Always remember when you build a structure, once it leaves your hand and goes in the water, it's everybody's structure, guys. That's the only downfall to uh, putting all this work in, but it's something I'm more than glad to do. So we're gonna finish up these, and then we're on to the PVC. There you have it, guys. That is our PV PVC structure. And we put some tobacco sticks inside there. That way it'll start growing algae faster. We've got our bigger uh, PVC here for a uh, water break to make a little eddy. That is just a piece of sewer pipe that we used as a concrete form. We filled it up with concrete. And right there you go, guys. That right there, we're gonna be in business here in just a very, very short time. I personally think by the end of the week, crappie are going to be on his structure. There's what she looks like. And again, this is just some pipe I had laying down at my barn. I didn't go out and buy nothing. You don't have to spend a bunch of money. Uh, a structure like that, manufactured, cost you over $100. I've got about two dollars and fifty cents in it don't go out and spend a whole lot of money if you ain't got to we all uh 
do this for fun uh, some of us do it for a living but this is what that i'm gonna be guiding trips on right here this stuff right here. very very cost efficient way to make some crappie structure we're gonna finish up what we got going here we did have the pipes were longer and we just simply took the saws all and cut them in half and then started sticking them in there the, the concrete was a little bit too loose to be able to hold the weight of the pipe so we did run some sheet metal screws in the side of it guys uh i'll be back on here in just a second we'll show you our finished product of all of them that we built today remember if you have not liked and subscribed please do so give us a thumbs up we appreciate it guys here we go guys finished products finished product here's all our pvcs what they look like they are about five foot in height here are our concrete blocks with our tobacco sticks the only thing left to do now the only thing left to do now is get to the lake and get them in the water so we can start fishing them we appreciate y'all tuning in please if you haven't uh give us a like subscribe we appreciate it we'll be back at you shortly uh fishing on some of these structures we'll see you guys till next time